Hey guys. Well, that didn't work. My name is Janelon. Sorry about that. I had to cover up my bird. Anyways, I'm 23 years old and this happened when I was 21. When I think about the first day, I remember denying it. That was the biggest emotion, denial and blame on myself. What could I have done differently to prevent this? And oh, it's all my fault. But you really need to try to not blame yourself and to try and have a healthy view on the situation and what has happened and accept that it's not your fault. There's no going back and it sucks, but it is what it is. It might not help everyone having such a harsh view, but I know grieving is different for everyone. I recommend reading Tear Soup and I'm Grieving As Fast As I Can. Those two books helped me the most out of everything. The hardest part is going to be that first day, especially if you're grieving as a widow. It's someone that you depended on emotionally, financially, everything. You depended on them for everything. And then that number one person in your life is gone. The person that you told about your day when you came home, gone. The person that you told your deepest, darkest secrets, they're gone. The person that was probably there for your, the hardest time is gone. And there's nothing I can say in this video that's going to immediately make that pain go away. You're going to want to be around friends. You're going to want to be around family. Well, I shouldn't say you're going to want to because I definitely wanted to be alone. I was like, fuck the world. Fuck all of you. I don't want anything or anyone. I want him and I want him back. That's just not healthy. The people that are going to be around you, although you might not want them to be, there, it's going to help in the long run. Try to talk about positive experiences you had together. Try to talk about the good times and remember the positive things you had. I feel like it made me more have talked about that instead of focusing on how he died. But after two years now, it'll be two years next month since he passed away, I think that I'm finally in a place where I can say I've healed. I don't really feel like it impacts my life as much as it used to. It has changed me permanently for sure. Definitely have some sort of PTSD from that. If you lose someone to suicide and they're your spouse, I'm sorry. That's all I can say really is I'm sorry. I know how you're feeling and it fucking sucks. I feel like when you're widowed at 40 or 50 or 60, you have a better support system than you would in your 20s or 30s even because people are still figuring out their lives. They're still out there partying and drinking and who knows what. And you're sitting here grieving and it's something that not a lot of people have experienced yet. You might be the first in your friend group that's experienced being widowed and it's gonna be hard. They're gonna want to comfort you. They're gonna want to be there for you, but they're not really gonna know what to say. At least that's how it was with my friends. My biggest piece of advice that I can give you is let it hurt. Cry. Cry a lot. Cry plenty. Cry around your friends. Cry alone. Cry in the bed. Cry in the shower. Cry when you wake up. It really does help. In the long run, it'll help you heal. It'll help you feel better. It'll help you get those emotions out. Do not bottle it up. Do not avoid it. Do not go out drinking. Do not start new bad habits. And I think that's all I can really say about it. Hope this helps someone out there. And see y'all in the next one.